All right, students. So let's now move on to something which is of prime importance, which is primary key. You can say primary key is the unique identifier of a certain table. That is, the row of that particular table is defined based on that. So this particular key will be unique for every row. For example, if there is an employee's data, there might be same first name. There might be same last name as well. There can be two Sharmas as well, right? But this primary key will never not matching with any other primary key as such. So it is the unique identifier of that particular data row. So when we talk about assigning a certain column, a primary key, that is that column becomes that particular data point, that particular data attribute becomes the primary key of that entire table. It simply means that we are making sure that not null, it remains not null because if it is, there's no value over there, obviously you will not be able to assign that row to anything, right? So it has to be not null and it has to be unique. As we can say, this is the primary key and it has to be the unique identifier of the row. It has to be the absolutely unique, right? Now, if you look at the syntax of that, it goes something like this. We start with create table command. We are trying to create a table over here, right? So let's start with create table. We input the table name, of course. So as soon as we put in create table name, the table gets created over here. Now we start with the column names or we can say that this is where we define the column. So column name one, what is the data type? any constraint column name two what is the data type if there any constraint and so on like this generally people enter column name and data type column name and data type and once you're done with entering the entire set of column name and data type you go for primary key with the column name over here right you go for the primary key what is the primary key here the primary key command assigns a certain column a primary key that is now that column cannot have null value and cannot have the you know, duplicate values. It has to be all unique and distinct, right? That's the meaning of primary key. And once we are done with this, we close this syntax by parenthesis and colon, just like we do with rest of the SQL syntax as well. Now, if you look at it, uh, we have just created the table. We haven't put in the data. That will happen with insert. Please remember that. That will happen with insert only. We have just created the table, right? And given the names of the column. So you can visualize an empty table. But the name of the column is absolutely defined. It is defined that which one of them is primary key. It is defined that the primary key will not have duplicate or null values. With them, right? So that is the meaning of primary key. Let's see how it is done in SQL. Now, let me do one, create table, let's say the table name is actor names, okay, and then we go for parenthesis open and we start giving the column names over here, for example, let's say actor underscore id, which I want it to be integer, then we have first name, which is a where care, let's say this is 25, so now I'll just copy this, right? And let's say last name, which is our varcar as well, which is 25. And let's say email, let's call it cat 25. I just want it to be, or rather 20, right? And then now I would like to give a primary key. So I give a primary key and I enter the column name, which I want to make the primary key, which is my actor. I, I close this, I close the second parenthesis and then I close the colon and this is my code, which is ready. Now I can just see that. Okay. So there is a table, which is actor name already exists. Sorry. I would have created it. So what I'll do is I'll drop this first drop table actor okay i'll drop this table first so that the table doesn't exist anymore right and this has happened we can see that now i can create a table with the same name probably with the same credentials i'll just do that control enter and as you can see the table gets created now if i just do describe actor names okay this is the table that i'm creating or rather i have created and now the description comes under over here now we can see actor id first name last name email the data type i have assigned at the same time the primary key is allocated over here that is this actor id cannot be your it cannot contain duplicate entries at the same time cannot have not null or other null values over here it has to be not null right so that is how we create a column with by assigning a certain particular column as a primary key column.